Hello guys, so this one's a bit of a weird one, I guess you could say, but I want to tell you a story about my bandana. I've had this bandana for years, I don't actually know where it came from, how it originated. It just, you know them things that just appear in your clothing collection, in your accessories, and you just go with it and it's been there for years, that, that's what happened. I suppose I had this bandana. I took this one and a black one to MCM Comic Con London. On the first day, I did like a... It was like a sad boy, e boy, neko boy look sort of thing, and I had this bandana. I was gonna wear it on my head, but there was like so much going on that I ended up tying it around my trousers and just like hanging it. But for the photo shoot, I decided I wanted it on show a bit to have a bit more like red because my outfit was black. Yay! Why do you want it so much? It's the power of the bandana, that's, that's why. But anyway. So I decided to just like tie it around my leg for a little bit like a little bit of a colour pop, a little bit of accessory and I was like yeah man, looks good. So it looked great and then obviously because it's like, it's not too long, I couldn't like double knot it because my thighs are like thick so we, we just went with like that and then basically our Airbnb was literally across the road from MCM Comic Con at the Excel Centre in London. You literally go down the stairs and then it was just to the right, amazing pucker recommend we're walking across the zebra crossing to go towards the steps and we're like sort of towards the steps now and i'm like andy i've lost my bandana and they're like what do you mean you lost your bandana you you've gone nowhere like where is it where is it and i was like squinting across the road and i was like i think that it's there and andy turned around and they were like okay well let's go and get it where is it because they're a bit blind you know and then they start squinting, and we're both squinting, and we're like, is that it or not? And then this big truck that, like, carries, like, rescue cars on comes over, and you just see my fucking bandana go round the wheel and fucking out. It was, it was so traumatic. We're both staring, like, is that my bandana? And then you just see this big fucking truck, like, run over my fucking bandana, and we were both, like, fucking heartbroken. We were like, that's fucking traumatic, man. I mean, I don't think Andy was traumatised. Why, why would they be it's not their bandana but we're both just there like really so we fucking found it and then it got fucking ran over right in front of our eyes we were literally staring at it getting run over by the biggest fucking mobile it could have got run over by so we were just like yeah let's not go back and pick that up because we're going to look like right cunts picking it up after like picking up somewhere off the road which has just been run over we're going to look like twats so we were like let's leave it so we go around the convention a bit and then it's time to go back to the place to drop off our stuff. We did this thing where if we brought loads of stuff, we'll just go drop it off because just across the road we can go back, it's simple. And we go there and like when we're walking back, it's still there. So I pick it up, it's like flat, it's got tire marks and everything, but I got it back, so it's so, all so okay, but we were just were looking at it and it just got ran over it right in front of our eyes. It went round the fucking tire and oh man. Traumatised man, but like I can't believe I got it back. I've had this for years and I've still got it for years. It's a bit more worn now and a bit more deflated, probably because it got run over, but it does its job, I think. I haven't worn it since. Yeah, I've washed it. I had to double check them, but yeah, I haven't worn it since, but I'm get, it's still with me guys. The fucking banner banana that got run over. So we'll think that we'll over and out. This video is brought to you thanks by Patrons. If you'd like to see more content, please support me on Patreon for $5 a month for early access to all my videos. Thank you!